Republican and Democrats are clashing on Capitol Hill, this time over special counsel John Durham's report on the FBI investigation of collusion between Russian officials and Donald Trump's 2016 presidential campaign. The National Desk's Christine Frizzau has this story. Do you swear or affirm under penalty of perjury that... On how he'd characterize his four-year investigation into how and why Crossfire Hurricane started in the first place, former special counsel John Durham said this. Our findings were sobering. Those findings include that the FBI ignored significant exculpatory information and failed to pursue leads that were inconsistent with their initial theory and relied on an unvetted dossier authored by Christopher Steele to get a FISA warrant to spy on Trump campaign advisor Carter Page, knowing the findings were paid for in part by the Hillary Clinton campaign. There is not a single substantive piece of information in the dossier that has ever been corroborated. On Capitol Hill, warnings from Republicans that politics could also be at play with the current Trump indictment, dealing with his handling of classified documents. Now we have an indictment of a former president who's winning in every single poll by his opponent's Justice Department. Democrats accusing Durham himself of excluding information in his report, like a Trump Tower meeting between Russian officials and Donald Trump's son, son-in-law, and then campaign advisor, and of ultimately not recommending any wholesale changes in FBI policy. You got no convictions, you got nothing. It was all set up to hurt the Mueller report, which was correct and was redacted, to hurt the Bidens, and to help Trump. You only filed three criminal cases. You only brought two cases to trial, correct? Correct. And you lost all the cases you brought to trial, correct? Correct. While we likely won't hear from John Durham again about this report, we do expect House Republicans to continue to use it as an example of what they call a two-tiered system of justice. Durham, by the way, was appointed by Trump's former Attorney General Bill Barr, who says even if half the charges in the classified documents indictment are true, quote, he's toast. Eugene? And, well, Christine, there appears to be uh, two different interpretations, if you will, of the results of this investigation. What's that about? Yeah, as with everything here on Capitol Hill, it, it is a little politicized. So Democrats sort of characterized the findings and the report as a, quote, nothing burger, while Republicans say what he found was explosive. Christine Frizzell reporting from the nation's Capitol. Thanks so much.